In this video, we're going to take a look at some BG Adair chord voicings. They're very interesting voicings. This comes as a suggestion by John Ye. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. He says he wants to suggest a lesson on Fly Me to the Moon in the style of BG Adair in the near future. Well, this is about as near future as you can get. We've already done one video which took a look at the introduction that she played. And in this video, we're going to pay more attention to how she does the melody and her chord voicings during the head of the tune. So we're going to start with playing the recording. I'm not going to play the entire thing for you, but I'm going to play you a minute or so, and then we're going to start to take a look at the chord voicings in the head of the tune. All right, let me play it for you. So we focused on the introduction in the last video. I pointed out where it came from. So you're alternating between A minor and E7 flat 9. And where that came from in the scale. So you've got A minor to the diminished chord. Alternating back and forth between minor, diminished, minor, diminished as you're going up the scale. So that's where she gets that introduction from. It just keeps going from A minor to the diminished chord. and so on and so forth. And then when we get to the melody, that's where I really wanted to focus this video on. So there's a few things that she does with melody. The first one is a consistent pattern with her is octaves. So you can take a look at this entire first four bars and you can start to pick out where the octaves are, right here and here and here. And then she's got inner voices in those octaves. So there's a couple of things that you can do. So the first one is, is that when you're playing the octave, in between that, you can play the, the middle two fingers, a third up and then a fourth up. Right? Or you can play, so you've got the octave and then the inner two voices are up a third and then up a third instead of up a fourth. Right? Either one works, but she kind of alternates back and forth between the two, but always has inner voices in between octaves. It's rare that she just plays octaves. So she's playing an octave there, right here, but in the left hand, she's playing the chord, which is an A7 chord. So why is it A7? Because she always likes to anticipate the next sort of destination chord with the dominant seventh chord. In this case, instead of A minor, it's A7. So. And then she's got unisons. And then she's back to octaves with a third and a fourth interval in between. Took me a minute to kind of decipher the actual notes that she plays here, but this is something, like I said, she does a lot. So we're going to the C major seventh chord, which is the destination. So just like over here, the destination was D minor. This time it's C major seven. And instead of playing just a G seven in front of that, which is the dominant chord, she's doing a tritone substitution. So D flat seven with a ninth. And you can actually see her move her fingers in on the piano when she gets that, so. And then here, she's playing a C dominant chord with a sharp five. Again, leading to the next chord, which is going to be an F major seventh chord. And then in the bass, she throws down this flat two, just before the F, so. So it's the tritone substitution, C7 sharp five chord. 
but if you throw the F sharp down in the root, it's an F sharp chord. Okay, let's play the whole line from the beginning. Okay, so on this next line, she continues with her octaves. Okay, so again, just here, you've got the octaves with the triad on the bottom. Okay, just like we talked about before. And now she's converting from not playing octaves in the right hand to playing these B half diminished seventh or minor seven flat five. And so instead of that inversion, she's using this one. So again, she's just continuing with the C major scale. So from the beginning of the line. So that's interesting. So this is the first part in the tune where she's just playing melody, but she uses a little bit of Oscar Peterson uh, lick here where she's got the two sixteenths. So instead of, it's this. Okay, and she's preceding that, obviously, with octaves here. And then when she gets to the next line, she's playing just a D. And way up here. back to this line for a second. And okay, so if we were to take a look at this whole line in the context of it, you've got octaves here, then you've got close voicings here, and then you've got the melody with some Oscar lick here, and then you've got octaves back here. So again, she's the thing that makes her playing interesting is she's switching back and forth. It's not always the same. For example, if she played it all block chords, it would sound like this. Okay, but she's not doing that. She's switching back and forth. So from the F major seventh chord, This one's interesting here at the end where you've got the A7 flat nine chord here with the C sharp in the melody. Okay, so try to remember that her playing, while when she's doing melody, it's, it's typically about block chords. You have to remember that she's doing different types of block chords. She's doing block chords with a fourth in the middle block chords with a third in the middle, and then she's doing block chords that are closer voicings like this, instead of this. So you've got these minor seconds and major seconds going on in the middle, and then she's also using just straight octaves and straight melody, and she's putting in some little licks in there, like we had in the introduction where she did something like this. She's got tremolos in there. So again, a lot of interesting stuff in her playing. If there's something that you wanna go into a little bit deeper, let me know. I'm not gonna transcribe the entire piece of music. That's a lot of work. And frankly, it took me a while to get this one transcribed, but I am gonna put a link to the sheet music that I do have, the transcription up here in the corner. You can download that and take a look at it. It's basically the sheet music that I've shared with you. And again, if you, want to dive deeper, just put it in the comments below and let me know and I can see if I can make another video out of it. So this is two videos on BG Adair, a piano. It's basically fly me to the moon and I, I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And when you subscribe to the channel, just hit the little bell because you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos that we are making. My name is Paul Toby from Jazz Mental. Thanks once again for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.